Hey y'all. So I have a question for you. I actually have a couple questions for you. One is, have you ever wondered what it is like to shop for appliances? But not only shop for appliances, but during the times that we are living in today? And number two is, have you ever wondered what it is like inside of Nebraska Furniture Mart? Did you answer yes to one of those questions? Maybe both of them? Well, I hope so, because that is what today's video is all about, is we are going to pop into Nebraska Furniture Mart and just see what they have to offer for appliances, specifically stackable washer and dryers and refrigerators. So if that is something that you think you would find interesting, which I totally hope that it is, then just keep watching. All right, so as I mentioned, we are gonna pop into Nebraska Furniture Mart here in the Colony, which is located um, just outside of Dallas-Fort Worth. I am filming on my phone, so I apologize if I keep looking around weird, but it's just easier to vlog this on my phone. But yeah, we're gonna pop into Nebraska Furniture Mart. I've never been in here before for many reasons, but one is we've been living in the glamper and I have no reason to be shopping for furniture or appliances. But my hope is, is that I can find what I'm looking for, uh, for a washer and dryer and possibly a refrigerator. The concern here is, is that <clears throat> if you don't know this, the times that we are living in right now, like to get appliances is one, like what you want is number one, almost impossible half the time. And number two, the lead times or delivery times are absolutely insane. So the other problem with it is, is that when you're building a house or getting ready to close on a house, they specifically tell you not to um, like order these things or make, you know, quote unquote, large purchases before you close because, well, it's like all financial whatever mumbo jumbo. But Anyways, the, but then the problem is, is that, okay, you wait till you close and well, you don't have anything to wash your underoos. And so that is kind of what we're thinking we're gonna run into. <clears throat> but anyways, I'm gonna stop rambling. Let's jump into F Nebraska Furniture Mart. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Felicia. I am a full-time working mom with three kiddos. And on my channel, you will find a variety of content, but mostly right now it is all centered around house building, new home construction here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. So now I'm really gonna quit rambling and we're gonna run in here. So let's go. here um crazy crazy options so but i did find this guy which is the lg um digital it's the wash tower with true seam so this is actually the one that um we have been looking at getting and what we had measured out um 
have the spaces for in the new house. So we, we actually need three of them. Um, one for our master closet, one for the regular laundry room, and then one for the um, extension um, bedroom. So I'm gonna flip you guys around and show you what it looks like. The price here is really, really good. We also um, saw that Costco had it available um similar price so um it's good to see that you know the pricing is consistent so really at this point it might just be <laughs> of what the availability is so i'm gonna flip you guys around and show you what it looks like all right so as i mentioned it's the lg um ele wash tower with true steam i will put a link down below for this one there's also um different versions of this based on um just like options, but I'm pretty sure that this is the one um, that we were wanting to get. It has like the steam dryer, um, Wi-Fi, all of that stuff. But we just liked how um, how everything um, is kind of controlled right here. We did like that it is actually lower to the floor than um, other ones that if you stack on top of each other. Um, so that as we do get older, you know, it's not as tall, but we could also put a pedestal under here if we wanted to. But, um, you know, you've got all of your, your options here. Again, I'll put a link down below um, to this, but, um, but you can kind of see the difference here where they have like um, centered controls versus like this is how we had um, the washer and dryer in my master closet in our last house where they were stacked on top of each other and they were just bigger, um, took up way more space, was a lot taller and then you had to reach all the way up here for the controls where now with this it's center controls versus the stock controls, which I actually kind of like. I like that it also has um, the Wi-Fi built in. The weird thing is, is that I've seen this in, um, I don't know if it's just in demo mode, but I saw this in, um, I think, Home Depot at one point, and I couldn't turn the dryer on then either, and I couldn't, I don't know if you just have to hold it longer, but the dryer piece won't turn on, so I think it might just be in demo mode, but Anyways, the handles are kind of inside of here, which I actually like too, because I feel like they're a little more streamlined. Um, but yeah, and then you just have your dryer, the washer. If you haven't ever had a dryer with the steam option, you need to get you one because it's super nice. So again, I'll link this down below, um, but I just really like the look of this. So. We'll just have to check availability but again that price is pretty consistent so um let's go see what we can find for um refrigerators all right so definitely you're going with counter depth if you don't know the funny story about that go watch some of my previous videos but Holy cow, I'm really liking this one. So I love this situation for just like little packets of sauce or little things like that. I love the brown, like the wood, whoops, the wood trim in it. Um, just like the details, I really really like I actually like that there's this drawer here um, plus a drawer here uh, and then you have another little oh just kidding that's the temperature control I don't know if I'm the biggest fan of taking up drawer space for the temperature control but I guess then you get it up here love these bigger kind of buckets um, these look big enough to be able to fit like a gallon of milk in them. And then love that the shelves go in and out on that. I just really like the color of it. 
This one looks similar, but um, not as pretty, I guess you could say. Has the wine rack in there, oops, as I break it, but it does look like it easily pops out. Almost too easily, I guess. But I like, definitely like the handles here. But significantly less expensive. So then you've got the same kind of KitchenAid, but a side by side. Not really interested in that. Wish I had the space in my kitchen for this, which I could have. But um, and again, I'll link all of the ones that I'm finding that I actually like that I like. And um, and. Uh, think will be contenders for ones that will go with. I do think I prefer a fridge that has the drawer on the outside like this as opposed to um, fully inside. Um, our last refrigerator was like that where this drawer was up in here so you have to open both doors to get into the solid drawer whereas with this style you just have to pull the drawer you know, if you just want to get in there for a snack or whatever. The one thing that I do like about this one is that you can have this door closed and still just kind of reach into this door if you want. So, really like this one. It's an Electrolux. And again, I'll link these down below. So, let's see if we can find some GE here. So, I think these are totally cool. Um, the whole smart, smart ones. I haven't seen one yet, like you can view inside and you can make grocery lists. There's just like all kinds of stuff you can do. Um, you know, like things are expiring soon, like stuff like that. But I haven't seen one yet where they have counter depth. Is this one? This one might be counter depth. Might be countered up. I would have to check, but I think they're fun. I don't know if it's necessary, but super fun. Um, I think this one might be countered up because uh, this one's at 28 cubic feet. This one's 26.5. So super fun. I will say is what I am not a fan of is these see-through ones. Definitely not a fan of those. And having, I don't know, maybe having the outside door and then the inside door, but then like how do you, you don't really have access here. Oh, I guess you do. Just kidding. It just seems like a lot though. I don't know. Plus, what if all of this is like messy, you know? So I'm back at this guy, still my favorite. And I realize I'm not opening the drawers of the freezers to show you guys. So I apologize about that. But I mean, come on, three level storage here. So like you put your meat here, you know, or whatever, just so that it doesn't get buried. I love a drawer freezer, but my only complaint is, is that stuff does get kind of buried and look how far this drawer comes out. I don't know, I just really love this refrigerator. So yeah, and then let's look at this, the one that's same, but $2,000 similar, $2,000 less. You just look at that cheap here. So the other thing we are looking for are beverage fridges. Now, Tri already has one in mind because we had them at our house in Illinois. And we had to leave them behind, both outside, inside. We had to leave all of our appliances. So just kind of looking at beverage fridge op options, I kind of like this idea of the drawers because I feel like you get 
more use out of them as opposed to um because you can like lay things down you can you know it's not so much beverage fridge necessarily um but you can put like cans in here you know or whatever whereas like something like this you know this is very beverage or wine fridge so i think i'm gonna grab this one is the cafe line and it's a double drawer um so again I'll leave this link down below but I'm really liking these drawer options it looks like there's some more over there so we'll check those out um under counter fridges are insanely expensive so be prepared for sticker shock all right so we have some more over here I kind of like this idea too which the one that we had is kind of similar to this we have shelves and drawers but again I'm really liking the drawers so this one's a Viking we're not gonna go that price crazy and then you have the Gen Air so again I think the cafe one is probably what we're gonna go for but let's take a look okay can we just talk about the insaneness of this thing and how I'm pretty sure My son would love this. That is absolutely insane. <laughs> Holy cow. That's cool. They have all of these games. So we have a couple of these at home. But I have my eye on this Pac-Man. So it's not Miss Pac-Man that's pretty much impossible to find but I love the tabletop super nostalgic only $700 super cool then they have some digital ping pong or pinball machines those are cool some spec sheets for that KitchenAid refrigerator that I absolutely love. I was talking with a guy there and I think the one issue that we're going to run into with the refrigerator surround that we had built is that he said that refrigerator is 72 inches tall where most refrigerators are only 70 inches. And I'm going to have to check our specs like our cabinet specs to see how high we went but I'm pretty sure we didn't go high enough for 72 inches so we'll see either way the refrigerator that we have picked out I absolutely love but that one was really something special so anyways we will we will see I will keep you guys updated in future videos on kind of what we we go for but just recapping Nebraska Furniture Mart that place is insane I am also in the market for a new camera um, I currently have the Canon G7X, the original, which I absolutely love, but um, between that and my phone, everything works great, but I'm definitely in the market for a new camera, so I checked those out as well. And I only went into the camera section and the appliances, and I was in there for an hour and a half. And that place is insane. I mean, everything that you can think of, there's a subway in there. So if you have a Nebraska Furniture Mart near you, highly suggest, if you haven't ever been there, which you probably have, would definitely suggest uh, popping in there because they have everything that you can think of. So anyways, thanks so much for watching, coming along with me to um, look at some appliance options. We are gonna check out a couple other places, you know, like Best Buy or Home Depot or whatever you know other options are around here so stay tuned for future future videos if i do vlog for those but anyways thanks so much for coming along if you haven't yet subscribed please do so it um truly helps out my channel if you um you know like the content that i put out then do please subscribe hit the bell notification so you do not miss a video of this bleep show and give this video a thumbs up and yeah, we will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.